Uh, All right, well, you go through the rest of your night uh, and rotate your watches. Nothing happens during the night. Okay. All right. Let's get up and cook some wolf meat. <laughs> well, I'm thinking. Let's go through the good times. Uh, so it's uh, eight pounds total. Eight pounds, yes. Yeah. How much do you guys each want? Wolf Whatever meat? you give me is fine. I'm good. <laughs> well, let me try. Let me try oh. some. Mm, wolf <laughs> meat tastes kind of like dog. <laughs> Guess people do eat dog. I'll so explain. since you okay, <laughs> it's a deli- I'll delicacy. I'll let you keep that one, the and then how about I just keep my wolf though. meat, and my dog can eat my boar jerky, <laughs> and I'll eat the wolf. <laughs> If we were not eat a ranch, we'd be ranchers. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. And we did cook this meat, just so. You yeah. Know. It, it took a little. You know, it took a few hours to you know cook it and smoke it and you know get it all dried out so that you could travel with it. But you, so you start your day off a little bit late. Uh. And how? Ball were they? Pelts. How what? How what? How messed up were the pelts? Well, there the there's definite knife holes in different par- in various parts of them. It's not a perfect, <laughs> you know, it's not a perfectly cut pelt. In other That's, words, we wouldn't get money them off. off of it. You've done nicer skinning jobs before. So yeah, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Okay. Take the meat. Take the meat. Leave the pelts. Gotcha. This time. All right. So, is there anything else you guys are doing before you gain on your way, or? I'm, I don't I'm, think so. I'm cleaning up, so I I don't have greasy hands from all the wolf ate. Yum. Yum. <laughs> all right. So. You guys travel for uh, another few days, and the uh, if you're looking at the map, the road mostly travels along the forest, but you know at different points it starts to thin out and get further away from you, and sometimes it's closer. But after about four more days, you guys have enough rations to make it four days. Uh, Ron, meet your mic real quick. Wow. So, yeah. Was so, so, do you guys have enough rations to make four days of travel? Yeah. You're good? Yep. Okay. So, you guys are able to make it, and, and you guys, on, the, on the, mil- the middle of the fourth day, you see a city off in the distance. Cool. All, All right. right. Guys. So, how do we, we want to do to this? city. I think we should we... set up camp outside the city, somewhere where we won't be seen. So, yeah, let's set up camp in the edge of the woods. If there's, yeah, there's woods near the... It's it's, it's like... on the outer edges of the forest, but, you know, there's thickets. Yeah. So there so are let's... trees. So here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll my stealth, and that's how we're going to determine how stealthy our camp is. <laughs> by observing the oh, area. Right. Like, this is a good hiding spot because of my stealth knowledge. How's that sound? The, the, nope. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Which is only an 18. Well, only. <laughs> so I rolled a 6. Plus. So you kind of go into the trees and find a spot that you think would be stealthy. <laughs> Perception. Yeah, this is... Stealth is a dexterity thing. Yeah, that's a you've got to do perception to find a good oh, camping spot. Fine, fine. So do you want me to, then plus a so fourteen. Fourteen. Unless you want me to reroll. Well, you find you find, you know, it's it's that in the was woods. <laughs> Fifteen. Foot, so that'd be twenty three. It's in the woods. I'm you've gonna got some cover. roll my perception too. <laughs> Just for, you know. If you don't trust the GM, I see how it is. Oh, I, I trust you. Okay. I just don't trust so, the role. 
So we'll see if I actually get better. No, I don't. <laughs> we'll, we'll roll off of his. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys set up camp outside of the city in the woods. What do you want to do from here? All right, guys. I don't think we should go in city? to town as a group. Do you want me to go scout it out, or...? You do have the highest stealth. AKA, you're the most sneaky. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can go scout it out and see if there's any wanted signs or posters, and then I'll come back in a couple hours and uh, check things out. So, I will do that. I'm going to head on in and head to the road and then just head down the road like I'm a traveler and head okay. into the town. Kind of scoping things out. I'm not trying to be overly stealthy, but I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. Okay. So... Okay, go ahead and just roll stealth, just in general. Uh, seven, or... Yeah, seven plus twelve. What's that? Nineteen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so as you're traveling through the city or as you're entering the city, you pass by the guards, and they're, they're you know, it's typical-looking city. You've got uh, stone walls, and guards just kind of let you pass by as you enter through the gate and don't okay. even pay much attention to you. Okay. So I'm going to just head down the streets then, kind of head... I'm going to look for any, any posters set up or anything like that obviously not near the entrance or if not then i'm gonna head to uh just head into town and try to locate like a tavern okay so you are you're searching first uh as i'm going down the street yeah i'm gonna be doing perception checks okay all right what is uh, your perception <laughs> uh three plus eight well, you uh, don't you don't see any posters. Okay. Of course, see I can't see my own feet right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> but All after right. wandering around for fifteen minutes or so, you do find a building that looks to be like a tavern. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. I'm also gonna be listening for conversations as I go in. Um, so I'll roll again, perception, and oh my gosh. Rolled a two plus eight, so only ten this time. My rolls are not being nice to me tonight. <laughs> well, at, <laughs> at least, least it's was... it's not in the middle of a fight or something. Yeah, at least it's not running in the middle of four two guards chasing me and trying to tackle me. <laughs> Yet. Okay. All right. So you walk perception. into the tavern, and people are just kind of talking to themselves, kind of in low tones. Just you don't pick anything out though. Nothing of interest. Okay, so I'll just go over to the bartender and I'm going to order a drink. Of, I'll ask him what, what he recommends. Go ahead. You have good rum? Hi, Bart. Greetings. Uh, uh, drink, do you have anything you recommend? Uh, Well, we've got, we've got ale. We've got... Uh, you would ask for rum. We're we're a little low on rum right now, but we've got wine, ale, mead. Uh, mead sounds good. Let's try that. All right. What you got? And then, he, so he gets you a drink and puts it in front of you. And I can't remember the cost on that, but it's just like, uh, that, that'll be a Whoa. silver piece. All right. So I'll flip them in the silver piece, and then I'll actually slide them two more and be like, so what's the word around town? Oh, well, depends on what kind of word you're looking for, I guess. Just just got in traveling. Uh, well, are, you a just got... oh, oh, are you a frequent visitor of the city? Do you come to Miven often? Uh, not too often. I just heard news. Just got in from Rostov, actually. Oh, okay. 
Well, word on the street right now, just things people are kind of chatting about is just the duels as usual. You know, we've got a few newcomers that are trying to take down the list of suitors. So. Oh yeah, making any progress on that? I heard about I heard about the list. Yeah, the, well. Know too much about it. Well, you know, you've got those newcomers that are always thinking that, you know, they're the next hottest thing and that they're going to duel their way to being the ruler of the city. But, <laughs> you know, it's those new upstarts. And, you know, once they actually get into that list, you know, they'll, they're not likely to even make it onto the list themselves. But the, the new lists are published every week. But we've had, you know, the t the the top ten or so. They've been holding their positions pretty well. I can imagine. So, Very other nice. than that, oh, let's see. Uh, things are pretty stable for the most part. We don't have any other <laughs> other territories in the River Kingdoms deciding that <laughs> they're going to try to take down Miven right now. So they've got oh, their that's... attentions occupied somewhere else. So fortunate oh. for us, fortunate for my business that I don't have to worry about having to worry about my shipments getting stolen or raided along the way. Uh, some peace of mind is always nice, that's for sure. Well, get by. But... I don't know. Is there anything else you're wondering about, or I don't know? Do you have is it something specific? I mean, you know, a couple silver pieces. You know, seems like you're looking for information uh, that might be interesting. I don't have anything particularly interesting at this point. Oh, I don't know. Just kind of want to get a feel for feel for the town and how things are going, so you can helpful. Anyone? Uh... Anyone looking to hire anyone like mercenaries or any mercenary work or anything like that around that you've heard of? Or any uh, like that? Oh, well, I haven't had to worry too much about looking into mercenary work myself. And people generally don't ask me that a ton. I ha so I haven't looked into it myself. But, right. you know, I would definitely try to check with the guards maybe and see what the city needs are i don't really keep up too much with city politics sure all right well i appreciate the help uh stay do you uh you know of anywhere anywhere that'd be a decent place to stay rest well, rest good right place to rest for a traveler do you have any rooms here uh yeah well now we usually keep you know, this is, this is mostly just a uh, drinking establishment. Oh, yeah, sure. And so we are, we're able to pay the bills and pay the, pay the landlord and everything that way. And so we, we don't hold a ton of rooms, but, you know, up the street, there's a couple of inns. So, all right. you know, there's definitely a good number of inns that you just have to look around. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Are there any merchants in town, by the way? They're just passing through that you know. Well, merchants. You see yeah, them every once in a while. I need some guards, perhaps. You know. Oh, like that. Uh, you know. Again, I would, I would say talk. Yeah, guards, maybe perhaps. talk to the guards and see what they what they've seen. What you know if they've had. Travelers coming in and out, caravans. Again, I usually just, you know, I, I have seen a few merchants come into the tavern, but not a ton. No more than usual. Very good. Well, very good. Well, thank you for the drink. All right. How's the How's the the mead? Uh, <laughs> you've had better. All right. <laughs> so I finished my drink and I'm just going to kind of listen, see if I can hear anything of the conversations, but I only roll 13 plus 8, so 21, that was a little better. 
and see if I can hear anything else while I'm just sitting there and doing my drink for a few minutes. Uh, you don't pick out a lot, but what people seem to be talking about is dueling. Okay. All right, so... Everything seems good in this town, then. All right, so with that, I'm going to head out, and I'm going to make my way back to the party, because they're chilling out there. Okay. Or kind of just my initial scouting and being like, hey, everyone's talking about this dueling stuff. That seems to be the focus. It doesn't sound like anyone's talking about a big job or anything like that. So I think we're good for now, but we probably don't want to stay here long because it sounds like we're ahead of the big news for right now. Um, uh, if there has been any news, I don't think they're looking for us. So. I still don't think we should stay more than the night, though. Where do we want to head? Uh, let's, I don't let's... know. Someplace further away from the boy. closest thing is Pitax, or it's going to be another pretty long journey to Groulton, which is further down in the... Just so you guys are aware, you have traveled you know, a good hundred to 125 150 miles mm -hmm. and so it took you about a week of traveling just so that you're aware well no it took more than a week it probably took a week and a half i'd have to add up all the days but that's about i was it took. i had i had 15 i think we we could stay the night pretty safely and then restock and make yeah. a decision where we want to go Let's get a I good Maybe we can find. It was maybe closer we can to find two a map. Weeks, I think, because I went through ten rations and we had the meat, so it was closer to. Yeah, it was closer to two weeks. Okay, somewhere about in there. Okay, well, let's get a room. Or rooms. Yeah, I, I'd like to sleep on a bed tonight. Yeah. Soon. All right, so we'll head into town. I'll actually go in. I'll say I'll go. I'm gonna go back in by myself, so guards don't see a group of three people in. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'll I'll meet them kind of down the road a little ways as they come in. And then we'll head up the street. To the All right. So so explain to me how it, how it is that you guys are kind of entering into the town. You're just going in by yourself, and they're waiting outside. He's going well, in by himself, and I'm like I'll just in. I'll say, all right, wait five minutes, and then and then follow. Okay. So. All right, so you yeah. go you go in, you wait five minutes, and then they come in the two of them together, or do they come in individually? I come in. I think individually. individually might be good. So basically, every five minutes, a couple, of, one goes, and then the other. Okay. Well, again, no. The guards seem none the wiser. They don't point you out. They don't talk to you. They just let you pass. Such a paranoid. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really paranoid. We have reason to be paranoid. We, we, we are cautious on the side of hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so what time of day is it, by the way? Did we say that? It is getting towards evening. Okay. Uh, well, a, did we oh decide God, on an inn or something it. to meet up at? Well, I down the street a little ways. You guys, he uh, so I, he he just went down the street a little bit and watched for you guys uh, to come yeah, through the gate. I away from it. the guards, you know, so they're not really paying attention. Yeah, you guys meet up just on the other side of the gate. You take twenty minutes or fifteen or twenty minutes to do it, but <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we'll head down the street, and uh, I'm gonna go actually. See if there's a general store where I can buy more rations. Okay. And I would pick up ten more. Just kind of put in my pack. And I'll um, get I want to get about to twenty supply, more. Five gold. And I, I'll get fifteen rations. Okay. And I get twenty rations over here. And try so to find a find, where's the inn we're gonna stay at. Five silver is a ration. I don't know if I understand. Where's it in? Well, you guys have to. You guys have to go look around town a little bit. You know, there's well, different parts of town. 
so obviously this town is just from entering you're able to tell that this is kind of there's a lot of them but this is one of these kind of towns on a river or lake and they they do a lot of trade through their port and so you've got yeah. the port area which is naturally a little bit more of the shady kind of area and then you've got the more expensive areas of of the city you guys just have to go looking around to see what you can find. Well, I'm, I'm looking for an inn. I okay, want just... to look for a general store okay, that well, I could get a map from. Well, after searching for an hour or two, you are able to locate the market district of the town. And, oh. you fu and you're able to find the general store. But... Yeah. All right, so... Go, go, so you walk into the general store. Yeah. I walk into the general store. And I'm looking around for someone to help me. All right. Well, there are there's a, a person that's behind the counter. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just usually when I walk into a store, you greet us firsthand. So I had to look. <laughs> so I walk up to the counter. Excuse me, sir. Yes, can I help you? I need a map of the River Kingdoms. A map? Uh, yeah, map. Um, I'm sorry, but do I look like a cartographer to you? No, no you don't, but General Goods uh, store, I figured maybe. Uh, yes, General General Goods, that is correct. You know, food, rations, uh, supplies, uh... Maps are a little bit of a specialty, I'm afraid. You, you'd have okay. to look for a cart cartographer. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. And I leave. <laughs> Guys, where can I find a cartographer? <laughs> you think you could just pop into the nearest gas station and pick up a map? <laughs> this, this general store did have an Exxon sign above it, didn't it? No, as a matter of fact, it did not. Not That's even really... a Walmart. <laughs> no, well, ma maps are a little bit of a specialty in this world. Okay. As far as actually having any a good quality map. You know, it's not as easy in this setting to actually come by actual physical maps. Okay. But it, it, also during your search, you were able to find a couple of inns that looked like they were just mid-grade. You know, your typical inns. Nothing fancy, but not too shady. It, it, you're very near to the market area of town. Well, I want to get in a, a room at one of those and turn in for the night. Okay. Brayden, spit it out. <laughs> you're laughing about something. <laughs> you're muted. You're muted. Sorry, I was laughing at our chat. We have a couple new viewers, and they're like, "Bounty? You have bounty?" And I'm like, Shh, "Don't, <laughs> don't tell the new viewers that we robbed a temple and got a 5k bounty on our head per person." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Guards over here!" <laughs> oh, gee, thanks for that. Yeah, for anybody that's chat. just joining us, these guys are a little bit paranoid because they pulled off a bit of a heist, and now they're trying to get a out. A bit dodge. of a heist. <laughs> Pulled off the heist of the, the heist of the trade. millennia, <laughs> the decade, man. At least for you, at least. No, but we us. actually are coming up towards the end of the session, so y the, the everybody is paying for. Are you guys paying for separate rooms or just one big room? What's I say? We uh, just do one big room, but... Yeah, one big room. Okay, well, it's we have to place, have an inn that will let me take Chuck in, though. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Most places in medieval times really did the health code was you could bring your dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When you when you went to get the room, there they didn't give you any proof about it. But we okay. we've been going for nearly four hours, so uh, well, I get or closer to three and a half, somewhere around in there. But I think that we're going to wrap it up for the night. You guys just made it into town, and I think we're at a good stopping point. So for those of you that are like, what is going on with these guys? You can go over to youtube.com slash frogstormrising, and the link is below. 
and that's where I'm putting up the VODs, and I've got the VODs of the first episode up, and that's where they they start their heist, and it you have to watch. It, it doesn't go perfectly, but it ends a little bit on a cliffhanger. That was a good distraction, though. You did yes. your job. You did that your job. That is probably the best distraction you will ever see me do. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it, it was funny. It was good. And so you can check out that, and I will be uh, yeah, over the next few the days getting episode the second up. episode up. Sure. And so we, we, this group has been meeting on Thursday nights, but we've got another group that also is playing. It involves everybody that's here, but a couple of other guys, and that's a bit of a different setting. And we will be doing that again possibly Thursday, so a week from, a week from now. And if that's the case, this will get moved to Friday with this group. Either way, there should there will be a stream on Thursday of next week, which is the 26th, I believe. 23rd. 23rd. Yes, 23rd. Excuse me. And that will start at 8.30 Pacific time. And, Raiden, do you want to uh, share where people can find your stuff or... Or well, whatever, whatever you do, I guess whatever, you, you don't do it. You don't. You don't have a ton of videos. You know, I, I don't. I just do your videos, man. But no, yeah, you can much. follow me on Twitter. It's right there. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter. I tweet random stuff. I also game master for a online text-based RPG mud type setting. So I'll be text. Sometimes I'll tweet stuff about what I'm doing in the game. But you guys can. Follow me there if you'd like. And um, I plan on streaming in the future. That'll hopefully be my Christmas present to myself, is getting my computer up to par so I can stream <laughs> my games that I play. Like, so that should be fun. Yeah. Which, and uh, I, that reminds me, if you want to follow me at Twitter, it's just, or on Twitter, it's at Progstorm, and I tweet whenever these sessions go live and tweet whenever I put videos up. So you can follow me there. And other than that, uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. We've had a pretty good turnout, I think, tonight. So, <laughs> Someone asks, why would you make a multi-class rogue and cleric? Because <laughs> it is totally OP, I have found out. It's, it's yeah. actually turned yeah, out it is. to your advantage. Uh, Draco Paladin. Yeah. I, uh, I took domains in trickery and in luck for my spells. So I have amazing domain skills it uh, makes it so that i can disguise myself incredibly well <laughs> so. but uh so i think that we are done for the night again thank you everybody thank you everybody and we will be back a week from tonight signing off oh yes i'm gonna say <laughs>